that some people will look at you and say, it is the demonstration that cause violence. They say it's extremism that cause violence. I'm here to ask you a question today. Would you condemn Jesus Christ because he believed in the will of God so much that he was willing to die for it? This is extremism. Would you condemn the robbed man because he had money in his pocket that caused him to be robbed? This is extremism. Southern Christian Leadership Conference, the Sumter County Movement in America's Georgia. And I say this in all honesty. I say this with a great deal of respect and humility. We regret very seriously the death of Mr. Andy Watley. I think we proved ourselves to Americas by calling off the demonstration the moment we found out that this man was killed. We did not demonstrate for 24 solid hours. We told the white father, you have 24 hours of peace. 24 hours in a city with a clear air of tranquility to work out whatever problems exist. 24 hours later, we are still not free. 24 hours later, four women are still lodged in the Sumter County Jailhouse. 24 hours later, and the death of one boy. What will it take for this community to realize that all we want is an opportunity to participate in the government of this city? We wish to make it emphatically clear that we are not here to destroy the image of America's Georgia. We simply want to be free. We are not here to see the people are killed day in and day out. We just want to be free. Hungry man for eating breakfast because he is hungry. Then why should you condemn us? We have some grievances. The way to express our grievances is by putting our bodies into the streets. Now the mayor issued a statement earlier this morning. And God, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you finally, you finally installed some internal fortitude in this man. You mean to tell me, how can a man be responsible for a city? And when a people within his city become disturbed and begin to demonstrate, he sees fit to take a vacation. He saw fit to go fishing. Well, we're here today to tell you that you forgot to carry along the bait. And we brought it to you. Now, I hate to say this, but I've been in communication with Martin. I'm talking about Dr. King. And Dr. King asked me last night at 12 midnight, he said, Benjamin, I don't want to come to America's Georgia, but there's a great need for me now in Greensboro, Alabama. There's a need for me in the city of Chicago. I said, Doctor, I agree with you. There's a need for me home with my wife, and I'm not there. There's a need for me home with my mother, and I'm not there. And furthermore, doctor, I think you should get ready and come on to America. Because I realize that unless we can solve the problems of this city today, somebody will die very soon. See, I understand white psychology. There must be some retaliation of some sort. If a thousand people are killed ten feet from me, I will not leave this hollow spot. <laughs> and the first night that we spent all night long at this jailhouse, I must 
ask my friends in California. I must ask my friends in Mississippi. I must ask my friends in North Carolina and New York and Chicago to become surgeons and help us remove this ill from this society. Phil, this is important business. The tension is high, but I want them to understand this today, that even though we are afraid, we will never turn back. Now, I have the good governor stated this morning that there were things that we should work through the courts. And I agree to that to a certain extent. There are some things that you need to work through the courts, but there are also some things that you don't need to work through the courts. Number one, if our good justice of the peace 